The other patient population that the theoretical risk is increased a little bit is the pregnant patient. In a pregnant patient, we want to avoid radiation exposure if we can. As the patient goes further along in their pregnancy, there may be times that a CAT scan would be indicated. For example, if somebody might have um, shortness of breath, we become concerned that they may have a pulmonary embolism. Pregnant women have an increased chance of developing blood clots in their legs, and those blood clots sometimes can go to the lungs. This could be a life-threatening problem and would need treatment. Because it's a life-threatening problem, there have been many studies that show that a CAT scan to exclude the possibility of a pulmonary embolism is the best way to figure out whether they are going to need to be treated or not. So if the study is negative, we know that we don't have to give the pregnant patient the medicine for the pulmonary embolism. And if it's positive, we're able to start the treatment as quickly as possible. So in that patient population, the benefit of the CAT scan outweighs the risk, even though we do want to decrease radiation exposure to a pregnant woman. There are a few other cases that we may choose to do a CAT scan in a pregnant woman, but we're always very careful to make sure that the benefit out outweighs the theoretical risk.